Hey guys, what's going on? John Hack here from Think About Comics. Joined by your boy William Bethea. Today we're going to be talking about, I guess it's a mini series? Oh, I think it's more than a mini series. Whatever. Uh, yeah, Juggernaut 1. <laughs> so, what do you think, man, about the, the Unstoppable Juggernaut issue uh, 1? Hey, I loved it. Okay. It gave you a new kind of feel for Juggernaut, uh, more heartfelt. You got to learn a lot about the man through his perspective. Um, not only did you get to learn a little bit about the man, but you didn't have a lot of the, you know, people above him, you know, telling him where to go, what to do. Hey, we're in a chaotic situation. Nah, it's like this dude got a, a, a full-time job right now. You know, he cleaning up doing this thing. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a lane that he feels comfortable in being in. And him meeting this uh, new girl, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, G. D. D. Cell. D. Cell. You get to see that 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 compassion that you really never got to truly see from Juggernaut. And I, oh man, this was beautiful. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree. I mean, Juggernaut is, uh, you know, he's always been that hired guy. Yeah. And you never really saw him. And I'm trying to remember, like as. Like, him on his own, kind of doing his own thing. Like, he yeah. was always, like, second to something else. Like, yeah. even when he was with She-Hulk, he, he was her number two. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And when he was when he appears in other comics, he's, like, a side character. Like, yeah. when he shows up in Spider-Man to, to kill Madam Web, mm -hmm. you know, he gets stuck in cement. You know? Like, he, he never... Like, he was... He always... To me, he was, like... He's, his appeal is his look. Yes. He looks badass. Yes. But... He's unstoppable, but he gets worked on by everybody. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Like he'll get, yeah, he'll get some shots in on Colossus, mm -hmm. but he's getting, he's, he's, he's done. Yeah, I really like what you said. We get to see him evolve into his own person. Yeah, we get the the inner thoughts. We also get to see what happened to him when Magic threw him in the the other uh, dimension, uh, limbo. Yeah, so we're getting a a, a different spin. We're yeah. getting two stories in this. Oh yeah, how he rises through mm -hmm. and this the, the him meeting this new girl and trying to protect her, yeah. and he's very compassionate, like you said. He's yeah. trying to get her to Kokoa, even though she may not be a mutant. He doesn't know what she is. Yeah, she kind of doesn't know what she is, or she's trying to hide it. And Juggernaut's trying to do his whole thing. He's working for damage control. control which is yep. kind of funny. Yeah. You know, you said he's working a full time job. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> it's it's cool to see how some of these comic books, mm -hmm. especially from Marvel and DC, some of them, not all of them, are starting to progress characters. Oh yeah. We're starting to see different sides of them. We're seeing the Hulk progress in a different way. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw this week She Hulk progress in a different way, and, yep. and her struggles with. How she deals with this so-called immortality. Oh yeah, we're seeing how he's dealing with how the X Men world around him is changing because mutant kind has always been a center point in his life. Yeah, he's oh, got yeah. a stepbrother that he hates. Yeah, well, I don't know if he hates him now that they're working yeah. together. Yeah, so everything's changing around him, but he's not a mutant. Yeah. He was always a part of that mutant yep. club, but, but he's, he's not, not a mutant. mutant. Yeah. So I think that they can do. Something really cool. I'm gonna check out issue two. Yeah. I think it's a five or six issue miniseries. I yes. could be wrong, but there's a there's a there's a really good story here, and there's a lot of potential from a character that everybody just thinks is badass. Oh yeah, and he's not as badass as you think in this story. He he's he's a person. Yeah, you see Punisher, the guy. You see Kane yeah. Marco yeah. living his life. Hey, yes we do. Yes you do. And I tell you what. They they say in the, the the next preview or the next issue he's supposed to see the Hulk. Exactly. I like to see that dynamic. Exactly. I, I mean, Hulk just dynamic. got beat by Thing earlier. Yeah, so who knows? But hey, guys. Overall, me and B both enjoyed this book. I thought I wasn't going to enjoy it. I thought it was going to be another one of these. You know, hey, it's an X title. Go out and buy it. But this is a really good story, and it's something different that Marvel's been doing. We're seeing a lot of, um, I I would guess. Reconstructing characters, yeah, and not so much grounding them, but putting them in their own world, and we're seeing it from their perspective. We're we're seeing that with Daredevil on on Chip uh, Zardaski, yeah, his, yeah. his yeah. run. We're seeing that with the Immortal Hulk. We're yeah. going to see that now with um, the Immortal She Hulk, and this miniseries with the Juggernaut is doing it, this issue one did a really good job at, at grounding his character, not in a dark way, but in a in a way that I think every working individual can relate to. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. But as always, guys, give us a like, give us a subscribe, hit us up in the comment section, and uh, just keep reading comics, guys. Thanks. Peace.